Hi, I'm Victor from Project Plan 365 and in this video I will show to you how to print on a Mac device using Project Plan 365. Today we will discuss about customize your printed document, preview the changes made, save or export the printed PDF file. Let's open a sample file. Let's say that we need to print the entire Gantt chart view on an A3 paper size with a landscape orientation and to fit the entire view in one page. For this, we go to Ribbon File, Print and click on the Print button. Please know that all the functionalities available in Page Setup dialog are available also in the Print dialog. On Paper Size, select A3 and set the orientation to Landscape. To print the entire view on one page, select from the drop-down menu the Scaling option and check the fit to one page wide by one tall. Click OK. Now let's preview the changes made. For this, go to bottom left corner and from the drop-down, select Open in Preview option. As you can see, the Gantt chart fits on two pages. To solve this, we need to make the time scale smaller. Go back to Print dialog and click on Customize Timescale button. We set the middle tier to months and the bottom tier to weeks and click OK. Notice that now the taskbar are smaller. Let's also change the column order in our printed document. For our document, we will need task name, percent complete and finish date. Please know that the print functionality always prints the current view. Let's move the percent complete and finish date columns near task names and make them visible in the Gantt chart view. Let's preview the changes made to the file and how the printed document looks like. For this, we will make the same steps as we showed earlier in this video. As you can see, the entire Gantt chart now fits into one page. We also want to show the legend on the last page of the document and we need to add the header, the logo and the title of the project. In the footer, we need to add the pagination and the current date. To achieve this, in the print dialog, select the header option from the drop-down menu. On the left bar, click on picture button and select the picture with the logo. On the center tab, click on the file name button. You can preview all the changes made on the top of this dialog. Click OK. Now, on the print dialog, select the footer option and on the center tab by default, there is the pagination. On the right tab, let's click on date button. Click OK. As you can see, on the legend tab, by default, the legend appears on the last page of the printed document. You can also add the legend on every page or hide it. Let's save the generated file by going to the print dialog and on the bottom of this dialog, click on the save as PDF button. Select the location and insert the name of the file and click save. I hope that you now have a clear understanding on how to print the plan on a Mac device using Project Plan 365 app. Thank you for watching. For more info, you can access projectplan365.com slash print minus Mac.